Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are this weekend in La Chaux de Fonds. This is the capital of watchmaking in Switzerland and in the world, and we're going to discover this, but more so for architecture fans. There's a lot to learn and more for family. So let's get into it. <music> Welcome to La Chaux-de-Fonds. This Swiss city is located in the canton of Neuchâtel in the Jura Mountains, just a few miles south of the French border, easily accessible from multiple locations in Switzerland such as Lausanne, Bern, and Neuchâtel. La Chaux-de-Fonds is renowned for its rich history in watchmaking and is considered the epicenter of this industry, with roots dating back to the 18th century. The city's unique urban planning designed with a grid layout to accommodate the needs of this industry is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And with a picturesque location in the Jura Mountains, there is plenty of nature to discover as well, making it a perfect destination for the whole family. Let's discover La Chaux-de-Fonds. Something really cool when you are in the Canton Neuchâtel and La Chaux de Fonds is in the Neuchâtel Canton, that state, is you receive in the hotel this little thing. You get a lot of free stuff and this is really free stuff, not 20% discount on museums, but also boats. So we'll do a boat tour and this will be included. Boat on Lake Neuchâtel, you can rent bicycles, etc. So definitely take advantage of this when you're in La Chaux de Fonds in Neuchâtel in that canton. And we are going to have a pop-up whenever we use this in the video. So we recommend starting your trip in La Chaux-Fonds in the International Horology Museum. This museum is so robust and it follows the layout of a timeline. You can discover the history of watchmaking and timekeeping in the past, present, and future. And of course, there are plenty of amazing pieces and exhibits that you can check out here. So in front, the Espace d'Urbanisme Horloger in La chaux de -Fonds. This is actually a great thing. It's free and it's a great sort of 10, 15 minute movie about La chaux de -Fonds, but about how it came to be the way it is really focused on watchmaking. And I think it's a great thing to do at the beginning of visiting the city because then you understand much more of different things that you'll visit in the city. So do come here, it's free and go inside. So we are at Altitude Market, this is the market in La Chaux de Fonds and we are going to have a little cheese tasting which <laughs> when you are in Switzerland you should always do. So let's have some wine and some cheese. Oui. Ici, nous avons donc de la fourme d'ambert, c'est un, un bleu de vache. Mm -hmm. euh, ensuite, qu'est-ce qu'il nous a mis Juste que je regarde. So we are going to stay at the Hotel des Endroits. I had come here a while ago with my parents. This is an amazing hotel in the middle of nature. They have a great restaurant and such a beautiful view on the valley right next to La Chaux de Fonds. That's definitely a hotel to recommend. Hotel Les Endroits is an amazing location because it is just a few minutes away from La Chaux de Fonds, but it feels very remote because of its location up in the hills. This is a perfect place to really rest and recharge, but we do recommend coming here with the car. It's a little bit difficult to access with public transportation. So if you have a car, definitely consider it. One of the amazing features of this hotel is its incredible on-site spa. They have not one, but two pools and seven different saunas, and of course, a whole menu of different spa and massage packages to check out. Ah, 36 degrees, it's super hot. It's just so, so nice. And you have the fields just below, just behind this, it's amazing. And this is what I came for. <laughs> so it is five francs for adults and four for kids to do once and then you can uh, add more of course because it's pretty fun. And you have an amazing view on Lake Neuchâtel and the Alps also you can see kind of towards the Jungfrau etc. So really cool. 
Alright, almost on the top. You can this is go fast. Let's go fast. This is called La Ferme des Brands and it's in the middle of nowhere, so good to have a car, definitely. Let's see, beautiful. There you go, you have some cows and you even have a bunny, which our daughter absolutely loves. So, enjoying my dessert. This is meringue and double cream. This is amazing. It was such an amazing dinner, place, atmosphere. We just uh, loved it and definitely recommend it to anyone. So I'm above La Chaux de Fonds and I'm going to do something very special. I'm going to try to create a watch movement today and learn more about watches. So let's get into it. I deconstructed the movement. I had what, seven pieces, but it took me a while already. And I'm going to now reconstruct it. So let's see if I can do it. And I'm very proud. <laughs> So I just got out, you can see that I'm happy. It looked really cool. I assembled, disassembled the, the movement uh, and learned more also of polishing of, uh, of watches. Uh, it was, yeah, just amazing. You can also come and assemble a full watch. This takes more time, of course, is more expensive, but you take a watch with you that you've made. So that can be pretty cool. They give you a little certificate as well. I definitely recommend this. I, I loved it. This is really a, a great experience. So next to La Chaux de Fonds, you have another town that is called Le Loc, and that is also all about watches. And I just wanted to share with you a few experiences you can have there, the Zenit Manufacture Tour and another museum. Let's go. So I'm in front and very excited, as you can see, of Zenit. And this is the manufacturer. The whole thing here is where they make all their watches. So I'm very excited to go see all of this in the manufacturer. So every Friday they offer a tour. You have to reserve in advance, but you can really for three hours visit the whole thing. All right, so let's get into the manufacturer tour of Zenit. You enter here and then we'll get, I think, right into the subject. Yeah, this is about the history of Zenith and the 50 years of the El Primero movement. So here we go over all the different processes from the creation and R&D of a watch to the creation of the different components, assembly of the components, putting it in its box and then a control. We're going to see the assembly line now. So in La Chaux de Fonds, you have one person that just marks the history of this town. This is Le Corbusier. This is a famous architect that designed a lot of things around there and around the world. And we'll just show you a few of his houses and design in La Chaux de Fonds. Let's go. And this is the Villa Blanche, also Le Corbusier, above La Chaux de Fonds. So this is the Villa Fallet. This is 
right next to the Villa Blanche as well and this was designed uh, by Le Corbusier. So this is our restaurant at the Hotel des Endroits. It's a beautiful view and an amazing playground. <laughs> ah oui! So they have a lot of different menus, actually four or five, and this was amazing already for the appetizers. Can't wait for the main course and the desserts and the cheese, but this was already great and I loved it. And just the atmosphere with the mountains, etc. is really cozy and nice. So this is the Lac de Brenet, and we're going down towards the lake and the boat. And this is the boat that we're going to take on the Lac de Brenet. We're going to go up and see some waterfalls. about 15-20 minutes the boat to the Saut du Doux and now we're going to walk this is 400-500 meters not much to go see these cool waterfalls so let's go explore the waterfalls so we're walking along this path it's 400 meters as you can see very paved no problem with the stroller and we'll show you when we get there so we are crossing uh, borders here So we walked for 10-15 minutes to the Sodi Do. Now there's the waterfall and we're going to show you. It's pretty cool and looks pretty nice uh, from here. There's another path above also, but let's show you the waterfall. So we're here at Mew Zoo, which is museum and zoo combined. We're in the zoo part outside. This is the petting zoo area. And it's nice because the outdoor part is entirely free, but the inside part is really nice as well. There's a vivarium and a whole bunch of different exhibits, rotating and permanent. So definitely recommend, especially if you have a kid, it's very well designed for having even really young children. So we're gonna go check it out. This is a pygmy goat, a very tiny, tiny goat. Thank you so much for watching. This was really nice to discover a lot of cultural things around Switzerland and La Chaux de Fonds, a lot of history and more really funny things to do. If you did like it, please like and subscribe and you can see more information on our website. This is it for us. See you in the next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.